Hey folks, this is John Miller, Executive Editor with WV News. We would like to welcome you to Ask the Experts, featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwv.com. And now live from the studios of the Exponent Telegram in Clarksburg, West Virginia, let's Ask the Expert. Welcome to Ask the Expert with Beacon Wealth Management's John Halderman. John, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome, John. I appreciate you all inviting me. Well, I tell you what, you know, there's an awful lot of um, voices out there, lots of people trying to sell products, okay? Oh, yeah. And let's talk wealth strategies versus being sold a product. Yeah, you know what? It's funny you say that because I think the financial world, uh, needs a long ways to go in terms of regulation and fiduciary responsibility. And we talk about that all the time. But unfortunately, what I see is there's still a lot of companies out there who have proprietary products, who have salespeople. And what they do is they go out and they try to figure out, okay, how does this product fit into this client situation? And any time that happens, what I look at it as is they're being pushed a product that may or may not actually provide a solution to them. And so ultimately what I always think about is forget about products. You know, it's like thinking about drugs. You know, drugs are just a byproduct of how does it help solve your condition. I always think that everyone should start, you know, every conversation with a financial person is this is what's on my mind. You know, this is what I want to accomplish. You know, and of course, that's just a beginning spot, but that gives somebody a place to start. As an advisor, what I believe is an advisor should go through a series of questions that are going to make sure that, you know, what is on the mind of that client. A simple example. I'll use myself as a simple example. I have a wife. I'm 53 years old. My wife's 48. We have three children. And so if I was in that situation and I was talking to a client, I'd say, hey, look, you have three children. If something were to happen to you and your wife, what do you want to happen for your children? You know, they'll say, well, what do you mean? I said, well, all three of your children are under the age of 18. So who's going to get their money if you and your wife are in a plane crash. I said, well, I never even thought about that. And I said, well, do you have any form of trust document set up? And they'll say, well, no, I never even, I didn't even know I had to. And I'll say, yeah, sure. You need to have a trust document, but you also need to know who's going to manage that trust money. Is it going to be an individual? You know, do you want an institution to manage it? And then how do you want it to be distributed? As a simple example, you know, I'm a believer. I never want my kids to have an opportunity to get a lump sum that I worked all my life for just so they can go out and buy them a brand new Ferrari. You know, I don't want that to happen. So what I want is I want it to be in trust so that they get an income for the rest of their life, but they never truly can just waste the money and spend it. Well, if that's what I want to happen, well, then that means strategy needs to be put in place. Because, you know, you think about that. Without a strategy, you can't make that happen. You just can't say, okay, this is what I want. So that's why I say you got to have someone who's taking the time to listen to you, making sure that they understand your unique situation and then developing a strategy that works harmoniously together. And when I say harmoniously together, I'm talking about an estate planning strategy. I'm talking about a strategy in the event of death, disability, um, incapacitation. I'm talking about in, you know your investments, every aspect of your wealth management, not just saying, hey, look, let me show you how great my investments are doing. You know, Let me show you the past returns means nothing. I mean, like last year, you know, NASDAQ went up 100, I mean, uh, 50%. And so tempting, it's easy to go, look, we got investments that made 50%. But the problem is, is you don't know the risk associated with that. And so the year before, that same investment lost 32%. And so going out and trying to sell it as a product that someone needs versus how do we put it in there as a part of your strategy? It's really two different things. You know, and I feel bad when that happens to people because people don't even realize that a lot of time it's happening. Well, a lot of times what you see is they'll uh, they'll say, well, look, this annuity, you know, I can I can get you eight percent or I can get you whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it it, 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 instead of crafting a strategy that looks at all parts of it, the tax planning, the estate planning, that type of thing, they're trying to get you on that. Look how much more money you can make short term, but you don't realize you know, oh, yeah. The other part. Absolutely. You know, and I say this in a very, very kind and respectful way. Anytime somebody comes to someone's professional's office and they represent a company and they're pushing whole life insurance, disability insurance as the solution for everything. 
Well, they're a product salesperson. That's a product salesperson. You know, someone that, that's going to listen to them is going to say, first of all, number one, I want to get to understand you. Number two, I'm completely independent. I have no biases towards a product or a company. I can represent lots of those things. Because if you think about it, imagine a doctor just representing one pharmaceutical company. And every time you came in, they said, oh, hey, look, let's issue this medication. You know, I mean, you would think of that as a crime. But, you know, the doctor has to be fully independent to where they say, you know what, the, the prescriptions that we send to you are based upon our understanding of the diagnosis we're dealing with. And so that's how the financial world should be done, too. But unfortunately, it's often disguised as financial advice when in, in the end, it's more product pushing than anything. John, to wrap up there, three tips to make sure you're getting good wealth strategy advice. Well, I think the first thing is look at the background. I mean, today, you know, they have, they, uh, there's so many resources out there that you have to know the background of the advisor. You know, you got to know, are they truly an advisor? What's the, you know, what's what regulatory bodies are regulating them? Because there are so many people out there who don't even have a securities license. And, you know, they can do insurance and annuities and they call themselves an advisor. To me, in order to be an advisor, you've got to be able to do securities. You've got to be able to do insurance. And you've also got to be what we call advisory accounts or registered investment advisory accounts, because that makes you to where you can do what's right for the client, regardless of the product. The second thing is, let's look at their professional credentials. I mean, if, you know, like in my case, I am a, a, an accredited investment fiduciary. I'm a certified wealth strategist. I'm a certified estate planner. OK, that means that I've taken the time to develop the knowledge and the expertise to put together strategies for people. And I'm not saying that others can't do it. But what you got to be able to say is, what's their background? What gives them the expertise to do it? And then, of course, you've got to be able to look at them and say, you know, do they have your interest at heart? You know, if they're coming at you with one product as a solution for everything, then it's more than likely it's their interest at heart versus your interest at heart. And that's what I tell people is it's got to be about you because at the end of the day, it's you're the one that's retiring. It's your family that's going to be inheriting this money. Whatever the circumstance is, we got to look and say, how do we do the best thing for you? As always, John Halderman, Beacon Wealth Management, a wealth of information, John. Thanks for joining thank, us here. Thank you, John. Ask the Expert. Ask the Experts, featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwv.com.